Somehow I kind of believe that. How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac and thanks for joining me on this TV reaction series today. We are continuing off with Orphan Black. This one is season two, episode four, governed as it were by chance. Last time we had, I'm pretty sure that guy works with the Dyad Institute. Uh, it was like the detective guy that was going in and talking to everybody. Uh, he found Sarah and Kira and ended up grabbing Kira and trying to get Sarah with him. Uh, luckily, she was able to wrestle Kira away and she went off with uh, her her dad, presumably. I don't know if that's actually her dad. I'm, I'm guessing it is because Sarah kind of had a, a good idea about that. But it could just be another Mark like, she, you know, he was before. I don't know. Basically, it's New Paul. Hello, new Paul. <laughs> also, we had Allison break a leg at her opening night. Uh, quite literally, possibly. She fell off the stage and she might have broken her leg. But uh, she was definitely not having a good time because she was pretty drunk and also she popped some pills. Cosima is now watching video of like these clones from the past. Uh, I think her name was like Jennifer or something. It doesn't matter what her name is because... <laughs> Because she's dead. Um, <laughs> that's such a fucked up thing to say. But it's true. Um, and then she also, like, dissected her. And that was kind of fucked up. Because, like, imagine being a clone scientist. And then, like, seeing one of your clones. Which is essentially just your body. You, yourself, laying there dead. And then they're, like, cutting her open. And, like, taking out her organs and shit. And then, like, just very morbid. And... I know that, like, Delphine asked her, like, if she's ready for this, but I don't think that's something you can actually get ready for. Uh, mis correct me if I'm wrong, but that just seems like something that nobody should ever have to see, a, a dissection of their own body. But yeah, that was a good episode. And, uh, what else happened? Something else happened. Oh yeah, it ended, it ended with, uh, Sarah getting into a car crash, uh, to try to get away from this guy. So that's where it ended. I'm pretty sure that's where it's gonna start off, so I'm really excited to just jump right back into this one. And, uh, if you guys like this reaction, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and hit that little bell in the corner, because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and streams sometimes as well. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Venmo and the Patreon's down there. So I guess without any further ado, let's just jump right into this Orphan Black Season 2 to episode four reaction. This one's called Governed As It Were By Chance. Let's do it. Oh yeah, right where we left off. Dude, be super dead. Please, dude, be super dead. Sarah. Sarah. Is that Cal? Oh, Holy shit. shit. This isn't just Cal. This is Cal L, man. This guy's a Superman. <laughs> Wait, She's not here. She's fine. Grab his gun. Yes. Who the hell is this guy? Phone and gun. There you go. I think, I think he's dead. <laughs> no, he's alive, probably. No, cops. We just need to get out of here now. <laughs> oh, you got her holding the gun, Sarah. They see that. You're holding a murder weapon. Why did that cop just like, I know he's responding to a call, but. We need to hide this. The cop saw that. One, I don't think that guy's dead. Two, that cop would have at the very least slowed down a little bit because he saw a woman holding a gun next to a, a wreck. Like, <laughs> again, I know he's responding to like a, an emergency call from another cop, but I don't know. It seems like he would have stopped a little bit. I'm sure he did report it too. I mean, you gotta tell me what the hell's going on. Can't do that. Tom was a friend of mine. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'll deal with this on my own. <laughs> Whatever this is, I'm in it. Yeah, I mean, it's his daughter that's in it now. Like, he's a part of it. Is anyone else after you? Jesus Christ. Dad, it's awake. She's awake. She's part of the family now, Gracie. My head hurts. That would be the sedative. <laughs> That would be all the drugs we had to put you under so you could get married to this guy. What did you do to me? We're trying to get you well. There were people all around me. Everybody just came by to say, hey there, we're not like Tomas. We love you for who you are. Don't worry, your life is here now with us. How can I feel bad for Helena when she caused so much destruction and mayhem last season? Like, I'm... Oh, she notices the ring. I'm legitimately kind of terrified for her right now. Didn't break her leg. <coughs> Broke her arm though, looks like. <laughs> Is she in rehab? <laughs> oh no! Well, but you feel like shit. You people can't do this to me. What do you mean, you people? Huh? We have an agreement. I well, demand to speak to Dr. Leakey right this second. Back it up and sit your ass down. I am not sitting my anywhere until I talk to Dr. Leakey. Is that your dealer? What are you talking about? This is the Dyad Institute. You in rehab. <laughs> Don't worry, the place is deserted. Oh, baby. I'm here, baby. I have a surprise for you, Kira. It's the Dyad Institute! <laughs> and everyone swarms them. <laughs> a camper! 
Oh, hell yeah. It's gonna teach you how to cook some meth. Hell yeah, Cal. <laughs> if it's registered to you, they're gonna be looking for it. Sign of my name, right? What are we waiting for? I mean, it looks like he's technically off of their property, but like, I wouldn't trust any of these people. He's out there again. They can take all the pictures they want. There's nothing to see here. Okay, at least they're not. You don't think we should have brought her here? I just think another location would have been safer. Now you let me worry about our safety. Is this guy like married to everybody there? Like, is it like a polygamy cult or whatever it's called? That guy back there, he belonged to a very serious bitch at a very powerful corporation. All right, so he was with Diane. The guy's phone? Yeah. Um. <laughs> you know that she can track that phone, as right? As long as they think I'm still caught, they're not gonna send anybody after us. Do you got it in you, Grace? Damn! Yes, she does. I heard that takes so long to actually kill somebody with a pillow. Like, minutes and minutes. Oh no, Helena's dead. She's definitely not faking to fuck up Grace after she lets go. Go back to hell where you belong. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, she just put her to sleep. At least she didn't kill her, right? I know what that's problem. Oh, please let Art see her and take a picture. Please. He should still be there, right? It's like she's about to run into a Cyberman or something. <laughs> no. She is on a warpath now. They artificially inseminated her? Please are be there, it's raining though. Yes! Holy shit. Hey! Take a picture, Art! It'll last longer. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You're trespassing, Detective Bell. Actually, your property line ends back there. <laughs> Which means all you boys have long gun permits to be packing these things on public land, right? Nice, Art. Nice. See you again, Detective. Oh, you bet. So Helena's on the loose now. The worst part of it is people looking at you when you tell them that you're sick. Like, I don't care. Just feel Hey, Sarah. Hey. Holy shit, Sarah. I'm just texting as Daniel. Hey, let me see that, that photo again. Project Lita. The mythology of Lita and the swan. Zeus comes down in the guise of a swan, and he gets it on with this oh. Oh. human queen <laughs> called Lita. They have twins. Why would the queen like, have sex with a swine. <laughs> Weird, right? I mean, it's total military speak. The military created us? I don't know. This could be key, Sarah. It's got something to do with the Proletheates inseminating Helena. I'm gonna come back tonight. Don't you think that's really dangerous? Mrs. S lied straight to my face. I need to know what she knows. <laughs> <laughs> they have got to find a cure for Cosima. There's no way that she's going to die on this show. They're not going to make us, like, love this character and then just kill her. That's not what a good TV show would do, would it? <laughs> I'm so nervous for her. They put up roadblocks, but they're behind us. I need a favor. <laughs> I have to go back home to find someone. Jesus. Siobhan, you're okay? Why wouldn't I be? I heard that someone did the bird watchers. You! It was a trap. I had no idea. What do you want? Papers. I have to get to London. You don't have to go to London. Carlton's here. Carlton? Is that one of the doctors in the Lita picture? He won't let me out unless somebody takes me. What about Donnie? He put me here. He's my monitor. He institutionalized me. No, Donnie. Rehab requires some form of consent. This was my idea? I don't remember the curtain going up. Was I terrible? <laughs> People got their money's worth. <laughs> Look at this as a chance to relax. So watch in your armpits. <laughs> Go away for a week. You come back from the spa, fresh as a daisy. Plus, no Donny. Okay, one week. We'll celebrate with brunch and mimosas. Oh, God, <laughs> or just brunch. Are you going to find Mrs. S? Yes, and make sure that Uncle Felix isn't still angry at me. Here, shall I keep you safe? Are you sure about this? Are you? I've never really been a dad before. Thank you. I'll see you here in six hours. What's the corporation? Dyad Group. You must have really gotten under their skin. They sort of got under mine first. I did, how did the 
those cops not go back and see the crime scene? Like, it was an obvious wreck. I guess the truck didn't look bad, and the car was kind of in the back, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll find me. Look for the nearest place to find a pint and a pair of tits. <laughs> I do have my weaknesses. Let me go. I have a few more. They have a sis. <laughs> there they are. I could make me stab me out, Mom, if they asked. <laughs> Still a poet. God, I missed you, Mom. Might have thought about you once or twice. Mm. Mm. What about your friend? I could ask her to join us. <laughs> Don't tell me you've got chai. Damn, right there in the bait bar basement? Get it, Mrs. S. Get it. What is his name? Carlton? Carlton? Get it, Carlton! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. S isn't there. <laughs> Possessed getting it. I'll have you know I'm best in Croft Maga. Faye! <laughs> You're a shite burglar. Where's my niece? You left her with Cal. I'll explain later. Anything from Siobhan. Allison's in recovery. Cassima and Delphina locked in some kind of lesbian geek spiral. Wait, did you say recovery? <laughs> she and Rhea? Help her to get back some of her dignity. <laughs> Do you have to watch me tinkle every mm -hmm. Do you have to watch me tinkle? There's no relation, especially with other residents. I'm married. You're also an addict. <laughs> you get caught doing a nasty with anyone in here. You're out on your ass. I don't believe I've ever done the nasty. <laughs> Somehow I kind of believe that. <laughs> I think they both do the mild together. <laughs> He's an enabler. You want I should check his crevices? <laughs> you put me in here. You agreed. I can leave it any time I want to. I don't think that'd be such a great idea. You have issues. Until you get those sorted out, I don't think you should be around the children. If you leave rehab before the program's finished, that's what my lawyer says. Get well, Lily. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she kind of does need rehab, but like, that was cold. That's Carlton. He brought me to us when I was a kid. That guy looked too young to do what she just said. I don't know how to formulate that sentence because I'm pretty high right now. <laughs> Six scientists incinerated Professor Susan and Ethan Duncan. As in Rachel Duncan. Is this them then? Okay, so that's not Mrs. S in that picture. These were Rachel's parents. Does that mean that Mrs. S knew the whole time? So Rachel is the original? You didn't cross the pond just to see me, did you? Uh, Brenda was compromised. I heard that too. <laughs> Amelia came back after all this time. So you know I'm here. Lita. Kasov was the ferryman. 20 years ago, you brought an orphan to my door. Put her in the black, you said, as black as it gets, and I didn't ask much, but now I know what she is, old friend. Then you know more of me. If Sarah digs any further into this, the whole world of shit is going to unravel. Is that Rachel? Still got time. What's the first rule of war? That makes your camouflage? No, your enemy. Rachel's got an apartment at the Cameron Arms. You need to bring these to Cosima. Tell her to find out what she can about the Duncans. Who was there? Who is that? Who was that? <laughs> Of course, Miss Duncan. I'm almost there. I like the lights on and the suite to be a perfect 68 degrees. <laughs> Absolutely, Miss Duncan. I'm Don't linger, Troy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Rachel, you are infiltrated. What's it like? Straight out of cold bitch digest. Let me talk to her. <laughs> What'd you find out about the professors? They were geneticists, Cambridge for molecular biology. Is that when they started Project Leda? They kind of disappear until the big lab explosion. They were Rachel's parents then. Adoptive parents. Just think, Sarah, you could have been Rachel. She's got good taste. <laughs> And a boy toy. Is Rachel with Paul now? You know, she would have been raised totally self-aware. Might have created a very profound sense of narcissism. I feel like the whole thing would have been very clinical, controlled for one singular purpose. Raised without emotional attachments. Rachel's evil because oh. mommy and daddy didn't hug her enough. I love you too, daddy. I don't think so. Psychology makes sense, Sarah. Oh shit. Oh shit. shit. I gotta go. It's that guy? There's been a problem, Sarah Manning's gone. It was an accident. She took it with her. No, Rachel's not back till morning. But she has no idea and she's not gonna find out. Leaky, relax. I will find out what she knows. Oh, he's gonna jump scare. Oh. Look who it is. You can't shoot me, can you? He looks really right. familiar. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> not coming tonight. Probably not. We'll talk to her tomorrow. Sad's okay sometimes. Just don't be worried. I'm not. She is a guardian angel. It's cute. Thought this would be a good place to talk. Easier to clean up after. Tell me where you got this and who else knows about it. Ate me. 
<laughs> now I'm gonna have to clean my face. <laughs> Your her monitor. You report to Leaky on her. I thought it would be somebody higher up. Somebody who looks like me. Well, there's already too many of you. What are you so scared for us to find out? What makes you think you're going to be able to tell anyone when we're done? You are Daniel. What? I look like her, don't I? This is happening. No. Don't fight. What's it Don't go anywhere. Was he gonna cut her ear off? Yes! Paul, Paul, please be Paul! Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you, guy! Oh! Oh, she is literally seeing a fucking ghost! <laughs> that is an amazing image right there. Terrifying. Hello, sister. I don't know what you're doing here. I followed you from mother's house. I shot you. You were dead. Yes, you did. It's a miracle. Stay away from me. Please, sister. I need your help. I was married. I think he took something from inside of me. <laughs> I don't even know what to feel right now. Where did they take her eggs, her uterus? Gracie sleeping. We searched everywhere, but we lost Helena. Well, just when the night is darkest, he shines a light. And a new life begins. Hallelujah. <sighs> um... All right, everybody, that was Orphan Black Season 2, Episode 4, Governed As It Were By Chance. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, like when you're in a dream and you want to like, you feel like you want to run, but you just can't run. When Helena was hugging Sarah, I wanted to say that it was a, a weirdly sweet moment. Like, because you could, st <sighs> you could tell that Sarah was terrified you could tell that Helena just wanted to hug her sister and it almost seemed like there was a moment between the two like where they reached an equilibrium like where she was crying she was going in for the hug and they were like almost both accepting it but it was also so terrifying and the revelation that Helena dropped on her that they took something from her which we saw was her eggs i guess they didn't artificially inseminate helena they harvested her eggs they treated her just like an animal <laughs> they, did, they, they had to marry her before they did that or else god would look down on that how messed up of a person do you have to be to like like yeah i'm gonna forcibly harvest her eggs but first i'm gonna forcibly marry her in the eyes of god so it's okay these people are I, uh, like, I thought Thomas was bad, but these people, they've got, like, absolute certainty and morality, so they have no hesitation. And honestly, I think the only one that has hesitated from that entire family was Grace, his daughter. They're not gonna make Grace carry that baby, are they? Because he's been trying this entire couple episodes to, like, get her to be okay with Helena. He's been spending more time with Grace than anybody else. I don't... I don't want that to be what happens. Are these Proletheates? What Helena and Sarah's mom, I can't remember her name, uh, but Sarah and Helena's mom, what she was also involved with in the UK, do they like raise surrogate mothers for these clones? Oh God, Grace is not gonna like that at all. We also got it dropped on us that Rachel is dating that dude that, uh, well, she's not anymore because Helena killed him, but uh, she was dating that detective. I wonder how much Rachel will even care because it did look like they were talking about her not actually caring about or not having feelings, but in the videos, we did see that she did love her parents and that they did love her back. I wonder if Rachel doesn't want to be in this situation, but she's kind of forced to be. I don't, I don't know. I, this episode ended so strangely, it, like lots of big things. And you're just like, yeah, that's amazing. But like the feelings and the, the music and how everything was just like happening, happening. I just feel overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and then we also got this uh, this uh, Carlton guy who helped Mrs. Esca, Sarah, and Felix out. I don't know. That was just, that was crazy. I just had a random thought. 
just just a random errant thought it's probably completely wrong why would mrs s also bring a random kid like felix along like she was only supposed to help like the the children in the black right the people the, the kids that desperately had to get out of there for some reason what if sarah felix and helena were triplets what if felix is actually a clone but like a male version i don't know i, I don't know i i just had that thought because why else would she also bring Felix along if she was just trying to get Sarah out of there? If I'm right on that, like Farewell 34 says, put me in the writer's room. Because <laughs> that would be a mindfuck right there. That would even put Felix in crazy danger on top of the danger he's already in. Like if he realized he was like a male clone, like wow, that would be crazy. I don't know. We still got plenty of Warf and Black to get through with a lot more crazy episodes just like this, I can imagine. Anyway, guys, what did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comment box down below. And if you like this reaction, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and streams sometimes as well. And uh, if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Venmo and the Patreon are down below. And I guess that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Remember, if you're going to go outside, please wear that mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you all next week with some more Orphan Black. Take it easy, guys. People got their money's worth.